and the what's called radiation necrosis or post-treatment inflammation. Same thing, the brain is having a reaction in a very delayed fashion to the radiation that it saw. So the tumor is dead, but now the brain around where the tumor was is starting to get irritated. Avastin um, is it it it's designed to choke off little blood vessels that tumors make to feed themselves. Mm -hmm. So the theory was that Avastin could go in and kind of block this thing called angiogenesis, which is to make new blood vessels. It's a good theory. So it's been tested, especially in brain cancer. Um, what we've found, at least for malignant brain tumors, is that the Avastin makes the scans look different by bringing a lot of inflammation down, but it wasn't necessarily, in some cases, curing or making the life expectancy better for people, but they found that it really carved down in any sort of radiation inflammation. So yeah, using Avastin for patients who have a lot of inflammation after a form of radiation treatment is is working out. I don't know if there's any really good studies to prove when we should and shouldn't use it, but in these off cases where steroids just too much, we don't want to leave someone on Decadron for months. Yeah. Avastin's nice because it doesn't have a lot of the side effects of Decadron or steroids, but it also brings inflammation down quite quickly in the brain. There's some downsides to it that we can or can't get into, whatever you want to do, but a lot of a lot of times you can't have surgery when you've had Avastin recently. So there's some other things to consider, but it isn't out of left field to try Avastin for refractory um, inflammation that doesn't respond to other things. Okay.